So y'all, actually, I had something to hit me. I got paid Tuesday, right? And my check was a good old, you know what I'm saying? We're not going to keep this in, you know, within a good old numbers of sort and such. Because, you know, I like to keep everything under wraps of how much I get paid and whatnot. But, um, you know, maybe, I don't know how some girls, how they fig, you know, how they feel about, you know, buying men stuff or whatever. Or, you know, even when it comes to, like, a birthday or like a just a get well present or just cuz I love you type present but whenever you go out and you go spend money how much do you think you really should spend on your boyfriend or your husband it kinda the reason why I bring this up is because you know two days ago I went out went to go shopping and um, I bought my fiance a pair of shoes you know, everybody loves their shoes. They got to have them either a pair of Jordans or A1s or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know, went out. We went to Foot Action. And, um, you know, when you go to Foot Action, Foot Action is like Foot Locker. You know, it depends on whatever whatever brand shoe you get. You know, their, their prices are just about the same. And, um, I bought him a pair of A1s, you know, the black, yellow, and white ones, which is in this picture right here. Well, I brought him them A1s, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. And, um, like, you know, it made me feel kind of odd because, you know, I think out of my whole time I've been with him, you know, I think the most I've ever spent on a man, period, is maybe like $50 since we've been together. Fifty dollars, and that's not shit according to how much he spent on me. You know what I'm saying? But you know, more than anything, I guess guys love to spoil their women. So when it comes up to the woman spoiling a guy, it's different. I, on the other hand, I don't really like to spend a lot of money because I'm a money saver. So you know, going out buying like a hundred eighty dollar pair of shoes or two hundred dollar pair of pants or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It kind of puts a hole in me because I always think I could find something cheaper. And it just hit me like, you know, there's not really a quota or really a, a estimate of how much you think you can spend on a man. But you know, y'all men, when it come up to shopping, y'all are some picky ass people when it come up to shopping. Because girls, even though we do got style, and yes ladies, when we go shopping... We do have style, but you got to remember, men are picky like that. They got to have everything matching, everything down from their socks, their drawers, to their stocking caps. Everything got to match. So, you know, you know, lately since my fiance has been doing this thing with wearing yellow, like a Gucci lemonade type thing. You got a message. He thinks he's got to have everything yellow. He's got to have yellow pants, yellow belt, um, yellow wife beater, yellow shirt, yellow socks. And now he has these black and yellow and white A1s. And, you know, it kind of made me up crazy. Like, you know, I don't think I've ever spent so much money on somebody. But, you know, over the course, since we've been together for like four years, I think the most I've even spent on him, I haven't even spent over $300 on him yet. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, man, girl. Do you ever think it's a quota of how much a woman should spend on a man? Now, when it comes to us girls, we are unlimited. We like everything. We like everything from jewelry, getting her hair done, getting her nails done, getting some makeup, getting clothes, whatever. We go all out. But when it comes to a man, do you think it's do you think we should spend more money on men? Like men spend money on us? Get back at me and tell me what y'all think. Cause right now, I think that I made a big mistake with these A ones, and I don't. It's just killing me because I don't think I've ever felt this way about spending money on a man like that. Holla.